knows how you come across somebody once in a while you, you shouldn't have messed with. That's me. Well, I'm down. I am not an African American. You're Oreo cookie, white right in the inside and black on the outside. I don't have an afro, I have an Amerifro. Talking that idiotic stuff you talk about, I will slap you. Go ahead, you make my day. Black at the ace of spades, but 100, 100% American. Heard around the world by everybody and their mama. The Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show. Uniting the races with truth instead of dividing them with lies. We also rebuild the family by rebuilding the man. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Welcome to the second hour of the show already. I have with me Pastor Shane Claiborne. Uh, he is the leader of The Simple Way in Philadelphia. He is an author of Jesus for President. Jesus for president. I've never thought of that. <laughs> the Irresistible Revolution and many others. He worked with Mother Teresa and has been a peacemaker around the world. Rwanda, the West Bank, and uh, peace delegations in Afghanistan and Iraq. And we're going to tell you how to get to his website and get his book and other things in a minute here. Shane, let me just ask, in Philadelphia, there were uh, blacks going around, black youth going around uh, knocking out white folks and in some cases killing them and uh, to a point that even the mayor of uh, Philly either locked the parents up or were talking about locking the parents up because they did not take responsibility for their out-of-control children. Um, was it sinful for those blacks to treat whites in that manner? Anytime we do something that degrades or hurts another person, it's sinful. And I think that, that we're responsible for our personal decisions, and we're also responsible as a society for the, the sins that that uh, are a part of history, too. You know, I think that, that history, and racism, sure those... and slavery have le left us a late legacy. And when we have, you know, one in three young African-American youth in prison, that's not just personal decisions. I think that's a... That's a are uh, you saying that those, those thugs, you're saying that those thugs were knocking out white folks because of uh, slavery? I'm saying that there are all kinds of problems that lead up to stuff like that. And some of it is people's family situations. Some of it's our school systems. Some of it's uh, not having enough jobs in our neighborhood. All those things. So they're committing crimes the for those reasons? Oh, I'm not justifying the things that they do. I'm saying that there are a lot of contributing factors to that. I and, think the number one honest, is due to the lack of father mothers in the homes and uh, the lack of moral character. You, well, do you agree with that? When we've lost 150,000 jobs in our neighborhood and the largest source of income is the drug economy, like that is a recipe for disaster. I know, but if, they, right if now, they had their, the character. The school system, we were $300 million in debt and a $400 million prison is being built right now. But Shane, and give so me this. The way that we are dealing because with that of this, give me by the, locking up our young people. If these blacks had more character, if they loved what was right with all their heart, so their might, would they be carrying out these type of violent crimes against white Americans? Absolutely not. And I'm saying... So they lack the character difficult. then, right? You agree that it it's is, not due to the lack of jobs, but it's due to the lack of moral character. Oh, I don't think it's an either or. I think there's all kinds of problems. And one of them is that it's hard to believe that you have a loving God, a beautiful God that has created you, if a lot of what you look at is ugly, dysfunctional, violent, and degrading. But they don't believe in God. That's a lot of what guys. young people have seen on TV. That's a lot of what people have seen. And I'm, I, I can understand how it's difficult to believe in God if the deck's been stacked against you. And so what well, we've who got stacked to do the decks? Is, who stacked the deck against them? When a young person grows up in a neighborhood where a third of the population is in prison and the dropout rate is 40% by the end of high school, and the neighborhood 20 miles away has 
all of their but kids. But Shane, you're blaming you know, someone else. I'm I'm saying that it is not only personal decisions. It, it is. is personal decisions and social. It's it's a, a part of our social responsibility as well. Uh, yeah, and, Shane, and, you but know, you're not making any sense. Let me ask: Should these people go to jail? Give me a yes or no for knocking out white folks and in some cases killing them. Should they go to prison? There are better day, ways to deal with crime than by locking up people okay. for the rest of their life. Give me, I, give me your just, and then we got to take call, Shane. Let me ask: Do you support abortion? Are you in favor of abortion? Abortions? Absolutely not in favor of abortion. How about same-sex same marriage? Say that with abortion, the early Christians uh, and uh, the, the the first few hundred centuries are consistently against abortion. Do you support same-sex marriage? Every, every person is created in the image of God. Do you support so same-sex same marriage? How we think about? No, let me finish the, the abortion question. Because yeah, real I think fast. That how we think about life. We need a consistent ethic of life, right, from the womb to the tomb. So. You know, abortion, death penalty, militarism and violence, all of these things destroy life. How about same-sex Every marriage, person, Shane? Do you support same-sex marriage? I don't think that the government should be in the business of marriage. No, I'm asking uh, you for, personally as a minister and a, and a man of God, do you personally support same-sex marriage? Here's what I would say to that, brother, is that when Christians, when the number one thing that non-Christians said when they heard the word Christian is that we're anti-gay, we've done something wrong. But Shane, we've you're not giving me a no yes or no on this one either. Do you, I'm asking, do you personally support same-sex marriage, yes or no? I don't believe in the legal right of, uh, I, I believe that there's a difference between civil rights and the sacrament of but marriage. But that's not, you, you're, saying, you're answering questions that I'm not asking for some reason. Do you support same sex marriage? You're asking me too many questions, man. I can't even keep up, brother. But you're not answering them. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my best, brother, because I think that. Let's the, go to some calls. Bobby, go to the guy. You're on with Shay. I'm looking at the clock here, uh, Shay. I'm oh. sorry. Uh, Bobby, <laughs> no go to the guy out of Los Angeles, California. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, you know, um, uh, a lot of Christian men like um, uh, Pastor Shane have been. Um, you know, emasculated, totally emasculated, and they follow around people like um, uh, Mother Teresa, and they talk about the Virgin Mary like this is our example as men to be. Now, Mother Teresa actually had an excellent ministry for women, which is to be a nurse, basically. And uh, but that's the that's the least of a Christian's responsibilities is to you know help the poor in a physical way. Um, as the apostle said, hey. We're not supposed to be waiting on tables. We're supposed to be out there proclaiming the gospel and taking, you know, beatings in prison and just, you know, standing up to evil. And let let the lesser of the of the people, you know, take care of the poor and, and, and do that kind of thing. Also about the violent thing, do you know that um, God was with Abraham when he violently took back his nephew? He was with David when David um, uh, destroyed the Philistines. He was with... He was with Moses when Moses conquered desert. He was with Jesus when Jesus overturned the money changers. He made a whip of cords to beat those people. You understand that violence is also a necessary thing that Christians need to do from time to time? The Let's get a response. Cords. Let's get a response. Go ahead, uh, Shane. First of all, I, I think that Mother Teresa is a beautiful example of Jesus. And Mother Teresa was not interested in anyone being more like her. She was in, interested in the world being more like Jesus. Uh, she said, we're to leave off the fragrance of Jesus in the world. So I'm thankful for how she did that. And the reason that I follow her is because she followed Christ well. Thank when you. it comes to the, the issue of violence... Let, I, me, let I, me take a quick break. We'll come back and squeeze in a few more calls back in a moment. <laughs> 